All right, today with another halftone tutorial, but this time we're gonna check out how to make halftone made out of letters here in After Effects. First, we're gonna create a new composition. I gotta go with uh, 1080p, rename it as text. I gotta try eight seconds, black background, click OK. Let's select the type tool. I gotta type in the letter S, and I gotta go with the Akira Expanded Super Bold. Press the letter S and scale it up. Align it to the center. And as you can see, the distance in between the top side of the letter and the artboard should be like this, also on the left and the right side of the artboard. So we're going to go to Composition, Composition Settings, and I'm going to decrease the width until we're going to have a similar distance, something like this. I'm going to click OK. Let's go here, New Composition. I'm going to type in Pattern, and I'm going to go with 1080p, click OK, drag and drop the text into the pattern, press the letter S, scale it down and align it to the left and to the top. Now we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in repeat tile, drag and drop the repeat tile on the text layer. And we're gonna go to extend right. And as you can see, it's not doing anything. So I'm gonna, let me see, extend left. So it seems like on the extend left is extending on the right. So anyways, we're gonna need to increase this. The max you can do is 2000. So if you add 2000, it is going to add somewhere in the middle. Unfortunately, this is the max you can do. So what I'm gonna do is go here and activate the proportional grid so I can see where's the middle. And I'm gonna decrease the number. So this four letter S is gonna disappear. And we're gonna go and a little bit down. There you go. And I'm gonna scale it down a little bit more. This is gonna be like 5.9 like that. Probably gonna reposition it a little bit like this. There you go. And now also we're gonna need to create copies down. So we're gonna go to the extend down. As you can see, it is expanding up. So we're gonna expand up so it's gonna expand down. And I'm gonna type in, let's see, 10K. All right, 15K. And I'm gonna decrease it a little bit. And I'm gonna go to the composition, comp settings and increase the height a little bit more. So I can go and bring the letter S a little bit more up and I'm gonna increase this one all the way out. So it should look something like this. So I got here the layer with the text. I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate this layer and I'm gonna select this letter S, press the letter Shift to isolate and I'm gonna bring it to the opposite direction. I'm gonna go and deactivate the grids now we're gonna go to the project here, right click new composition. This is gonna be the final comp. And in the final comp, this is gonna be the width and the height, the new height. So I'm gonna click OK, drag and drop the pattern into the final comp. Right click here, new, solid, rename it as fractal, click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in fractal noise. Drag and drop the fractal noise on the fractal layer. Noise type, I can change it to spline, decrease the brightness to minus 30. Let's go to the transform and scale it up. I gotta go scale it nice and high, somewhere around 300. Decrease the complexity to one. And we're gonna go to the evolution stopwatch, press and hold alt and click on the stopwatch at the evolution. And we're gonna type in here, time asterisk 160. Hit play and it looks something like this. Let's scroll up. Right click on the fractal layer, pre-comp, and make sure to click on move all attributes into the new composition. And I'm gonna rename it as fractal. Click OK. Uncheck the fractal layer, right click here, new adjustment layer, rename it half tone. Go to the effects and presets, type in card dance. Drag and drop the card dance on the half tone. And let's go to the gradient layer one, change it to fractal. And we're gonna go to the Y scale and the X scale, change the source to intensity one, Y scale intensity one again. And as you can see here at the rows and columns, you can increase or decrease the number of the rows and the columns to make the letter S more visible. But unfortunately, we don't know the right number. So what we're gonna need to do here is count the numbers of the pattern. So how many S copies are in a row and in a column. So for this, in order to make it faster, I'm gonna select a rectangle. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna press Control D, put it here. So we got 24 and 17. So I'm gonna go back to the half tone, activate the half tone, type into the column 24, row 17. 
As you can see, we got a little bit of issues still. So I'm going to go back to the text, press the letter S, and we're going to scale it down, go back to the final comp. And it seems like it is reducing because it's a little bit more smaller. I'm going to go back, scale it a little bit more, hit play. And that's how you make an abstract animated pattern made out of half tone letters here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.